How's it going, my fellow Casanovians? This is TC Casanova bringing you the videos you love. And today we're going to be recording. Verdi. Now, this is a game. It's really interesting. I've been playing it for a while. So. You got these plants, right? And when it says thirsty down there, you gotta water them. But the coolest thing about this is that it's in real time. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I could, like, buy, like, you know, actual plants, but we're, but that's not free. So, these are some pretty cool plants, actually. I mean, like, it honestly doesn't get better than this. That's what it used to look like. Whoa, what a... Yeah, this game is, um... This game actually kind of reminds me of the new Animal Crossing, because there's... There's plants and there's also a snail. Also, there's a cat. You can get right in there if you want. This is still, these are still better plant textures than, than spore, and that's something. I tried to record spore, but that, that didn't work. Well, I mean, I, I have the recordings, they just suck. And the cell stays for like over 30 minutes. So I'm just not gonna upload that. And it wasn't that interesting to watch, which is why I decided to instead record some of this. I didn't even realize I had those seeds. That's a cool little thing. Where's the other one though? I, forgot. I lost it already. There it is. Now if you really think about it, this is kind of like just being God, you know? Cause like you can water plants. God does that with rain and shit. So I, th I'm, I think this is like better than drugs. I didn't know you could sing to the snail to be honest. 
Despacito. Despacito. That's that's cool. La la la. Oh, that's a cool Easter egg. I sing. I sang to a snail. Okay, time to sing to this plant. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Today we're gonna be. <laughs> Vital, thank you. Um, so I guess this is the secret little exploit to make your plants grow faster, and it's because they hear you talking, not because of the air and the water that you're supplying them. It's actually because they hear you talking, but that's why they grow faster. It's a cool little, neat little Easter egg that the pagans taught me. Oh my god, pagans! I should go back to playing that one game again. Maybe I'll record it again. But this is still the best game of all time. I mean, come on. Have you ever seen a game this good? I do not think so. I am singing to this plant. When's the last time you sang to a plant, huh? Hey, little piece of shit. Yeah, fucking grow, bitch. Come on, get taller, bitch. What the fuck you doing? Fucking short ass. Dumb ass motherfucker. Okay, anyway. Trying to sing to the snail. Hey snail, yeah you, I'm talking to you. What a snail around, huh? Yeah fool, yeah. You wanna fuck, you wanna fight? Yeah, keep keep crawling, bitch. Yeah, crawl your fucking snail ass, fucking snail, I'm charming it. Hey snail, want, want to go somewhere more private? <laughs> Bad snail. Back off. Um... Hey you, can I sing to you? Hey dumbass. Hey loser. Fucking moron. Shut up. Stay the fuck in the ground, I don't care about you. It's vivacious. That sure is something. Now I'm gonna have to, rec I'm gonna have to continue recording this for a few days for you to see the changes. So I'm just gonna stay here and uh, record this. For quite possibly maybe days, hours, minutes, seconds, you never know. But uh I think my life is going pretty good, you know. I'm scared of the plague, but at least I got plants. And really can the plague take that away from me? Probably, but I don't I won't think about that. This game is pretty action based. It's it's not really a game that you can just sit down and like not focus on because it takes a lot of attention to play this game. You need you, you know how 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 it takes a lot of focus to, to do to look at the snail. You see, you have to look at every single every single movement that that snail does in order to correctly sing to it. Because really, if you sing the wrong tone, you might just make that snail die. And you want to be behind the death of that snail? I don't think so. Okay, I I just, I don't think that's what you want. Okay, so um, I, I sang to the snail. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with singing to a snail. Yeah, fucking asparagus looking bitch. Yeah, what the fuck you want? You want to grow and shit? I don't give a fuck, man. We're all trying to grow. And the truth is they got to keep growing. Because, you know, if you just stay if you stay in one place like these plants, then you're not, you're, you'll feel like you're going up. But you're not going out. You know? You got to go out of your comfort zone. And that's, that's really the basis for it all. Because, you know, if you're staying in your comfort zone and just taking what life gives you, then you're not making your own path, you know? That, and that's really a crime against yourself. Because, like... You're not getting the most out of life that you should be getting. You're only taking what life throws at you. And sometimes you gotta go out and catch yourself. You know, life isn't gonna throw every opportunity at you. Sometimes you gotta make them, you know? But these plants here don't understand that. They just they just sit there and wait for the water and, and you know, and all this shit to come to them, you know? I don't really put nutrients in the soil, so they're probably gonna die eventually. But like, 
they just wait for the water to come to them. You know, you can't do that, you know. Humans, they made wells, they made indoor plumbing, you know. That's, that's something that you got to do as a human, okay. You got to go out there and make your own path because that's what makes you human. And being human isn't always that good, you know. We got really bad points in our time, but we've also done a lot of good too, you know. Maybe one day we can counteract all that bad that we've ever done and maybe we can make a good future for everything, you know. Less fear for our children, you know. But like, maybe, you know, maybe if you go out there and do something that you wouldn't normally do, not something bad, but something that you've been afraid to do, if you go out there and try it, then maybe you'll succeed. And if you fail, then you then you can see what made you fail. And you can learn from that instead of just assuming that you're going to fail. Because you don't learn anything from that. You just have your own gears turning your brain telling you what's going to make it fail. But you got to go out there and see what exactly goes wrong. Because then you can actually change things instead of just assuming every single possibility. You got to go out there and see exactly, exactly what goes wrong. Or what goes right. It's not definitely going to go wrong even if you think it is, you know. It might go, it might go terribly wrong, but that's an experience, and you know, again, you gotta grow out. You can't just grow up, because you keep growing up, and you grow out into this world, and it's just, it's just the same old, you know? You're stuck doing one thing your whole life, and you, you just can't live with that. You gotta go out there and make an experience for yourself, because really, the experience that life's gonna give you is gonna be so mediocre. You gotta go out there and make a journey for yourself. Because if you take the path everybody else walked, then it's just going to sound as bad as everyone explains life to be. And life may be bad, but you can find good in it yourself, you know? Like this game, you know, these plants. It's a fun little thing. I can't leave the house, but I can water the snail. And just, you know, savor the little things, but also make big things. Make your own experiences, but savor the little details, you know? Don't always focus on every little nitpicky thing, but don't always focus on the big picture because you get trapped in either then you never see what's really in front of you, you know? If you set your sights behind you, then you're always going to miss, but if you set them too ahead, then you're never going to be on target. So you just, you got to make something for yourself, you know? You can't just get everything that you expect, you know? Because you got to get a little bit of, you know, creativity in there because once you, once you feel something new, and you're going to want more new experiences, and you're going to learn, and you're going to grow out, instead of just growing up, you know? That's, that's truly the journey to be human, you know? And being human is a complex thing. Like I said, we've done bad things, but maybe you can be a catalyst for more good than, than how others were a catalyst for bad, you know? Just little things, because the more little good we do, the less bigger evil there is, you know? The more people counteracting the less it means when we do bad because really in the end if we do millions of good things and maybe fuck up once in a while then overall we did okay you know and that, how that's all you can ask for but if you just sit there and say oh somebody's going to do something worse the, f the good i'll do in the world won't change a thing then you're just letting yourself be the reason why we're held back in progress so make experiences for yourself that's all you can do really you got to make an experience you got to make a name for yourself you know even if you're not known for something big like saving the world you got to be known save save your neighborhood save your friend you know save a piece of history you know have a hobby have fun put a smile on someone's face hold the door for someone you know make sure you're treating yourself good too because you can't just treat everybody else in the world good Make sure you're getting your sleep and you're drinking your water, you're eating some healthy food. I know I love snacks too, but you got to eat healthy too, you know. Because how are you going to be he healthy and happy if you can barely do anything, you feel so tired? You got to make sure you're getting up, you're moving, you burn some calories. You just got to try, you know. It's so easy to just give up and say, you know what, I'm not going to try. Because it's just so easy to do the things that... My brain tells me I want. But your brain doesn't want that. Your brain just realizes that's the easiest path, you know? Your brain doesn't want the easiest path. Your brain wants to live and learn. But I've, I've talked to the snail enough. I think I'm going to 
think I'm gonna end the video here, but uh, hope you all enjoyed. And uh, most of that wasn't, most of that wasn't a prank. I hope you took some of that to heart. But yeah, this game is really, it's really peaceful. And I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. And goodbye.